First is everyone who is hung on a tree through Christ, who Jesus, God, has blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing he promised to Abraham so that we who are believers might will receive the promises, Holy Spirit, through faith. Father, we just thank you for your word, Father God. Your word is true. It never changes. It won't change. And we thank you, Father God, that your promises are your promises. And your son, Jesus Christ, who was God in the flesh, hung on that cross. And his blood covers everything. It is finished. And we thank you for that, Father God. And we give you all glory and honor for today, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father God, we just thank you today. Everybody say thank you. We got some saints in the house. We got some sons in the house. We got some soldiers in the house. Let's give God some glory this morning. Father God, we thank you for another day. We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful weather. We thank you, Father, for the cool breeze. We just give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. In Psalm 134, it says, Behold, that means, hey, wake up. I got something to tell you. Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands toward the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The, the Lord will bless you out of Zion, even he who made the heavens and the earth. You are a child of the Most High God. You have been made in his image. He has not made any junk. He made all of the colors of the rainbow, and he made all of the colors of the skin. And I say, Father God, all life matters. And Father yeah. God, we give you praise for that today. We give yeah. you glory for that today. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. We're yeah. all made in your image. Yeah. All souls belong to you, Father God. All souls yeah. will return to you, Father God. Yeah. I thank you, Lord, that you have made us to bring you glory. You have made us to bring you honor, and you have made us to bring you praise. Now let everything and let everyone that has breath praise ye the Lord. Come on, saints. Do you have breath in your body? Do you have the ability to walk and talk and think? Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Can you get dressed by yourself? Because there's a lot of folks that can't. You've got something to thank the Lord for. You have another day. You have another way. Don't stay in the pit of despair. I came today to talk to you about faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You say, well, Pastor, how can I believe it if I can't see it? Well, you have to have faith. You can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. But saints, you can feel the wind blowing in the trees right now. You can feel the air on your skin. You can feel it. You can see it moving the leaves. It blew over the chairs earlier. It it blew over the signs on occasion. It'll blow over umbrellas. You can't see the wind. But you can feel it and you can see what it moves. Faith moves mountains. I have people come by here all the time and say, we don't stop because you're preaching. Well, maybe you need to stop. Maybe you need to stop and realize that this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Have faith. Don't quit. Don't give up. We had someone come by earlier. He was angry. He was ugly. He was not a happy camper. And we said, Lord, bless him. Keep him safe. Have mercy on his soul. You don't come by and curse the church folk. You don't curse anybody. But that's a spirit, saints. It's a spirit. It's a lack of faith. It doesn't matter who you are, where you 
you came from. God knows your name. The Lord knows your name. He gave you your name. He dances over you. He rejoices over you. He loves you. Saints, if you have just a tiny bit of faith, you can overcome the world today. I want to come to you and let you know today that my focus is not based upon my feelings today. My focus is based upon my faith today. My focus has nothing to do with how I feel. Because if I felt like staying home and I felt like doing the world and I felt that I needed to go with how I felt, I would not be here today. Saints, we make choices. We make decisions. It is our choice to be a man or a woman of faith. God is not going to come down and say, oh, hey, by the way, here's a little bit of faith. Do whatever you want to with it. My focus, your focus should be based upon your faith and not your feelings today. Look around, saints. Everybody feels like they've been slighted. Everybody feels like they've been plighted. Everybody feels something. Well, let me tell you what. Jesus felt like dying for you. Jesus felt like dying and shedding his blood for you and for me. You can run, but you can't hide because my voice will go to eternity because it's spirit-filled, it's spirit-led, and you can't hide from the truth. Jesus felt like dying for you that day. I got news for you. He asked his father if there was any way possible let that cup pass. But he went to the cross and he died for us despite his feelings. And despite my feelings, I'm going to move forward in faith. Saints, faith is not a feeling. Faith is a commitment. Faith is a job. Faith is functional. Even when I don't see the results immediately, faith is functioning in my life. Faith is the forerunner of salvation. Saints, without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. Faith is not fantasy today, saints. You're not going to get out of here without affliction. You're not going to get out of here without suffering. And you're not going to get out of here without dropping to your knees and repenting. Well, you'll get out of here, but it won't be the destination that you were hoping for. You got two destinations. With God or apart from God. Tell it like it is. There is a hell. And Jesus said he did not create hell for human beings. He created them for the angels that fell and disobeyed him. He created hell for the devil and all his imps. But if you want to go there, he'll accommodate you through your own free will. Faith is the forerunner of salvation. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is not fantasy. Hell is real. It's more real than the trees and the moon and the sun and the stars. Faith is factual, saints. Faith is factual. It's a fact, Jack. If you don't have no faith, what is what is the use? I say you got some faith. You can you got faith to get up. You got faith to sit in a chair. You got faith to wait for your check. You got faith in everything other than where it should be. My faith is fantastic. My faith is fervent. Saints, faith is far reaching and faith is far better. Faith can fathom success, saints. Faith is the only thing that can fathom success because the word says it is written. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When a woman gets pregnant, she can't see the baby. She can't hear the baby. But she's got faith that there's 
life in her and nine months later that life is going to come out and she's going to see that faith she's going to touch that faith she's going to hear that faith she's going to hold that faith saints faith is not a feeling it's a fact because when a woman gets pregnant she's filled with faith and she's expecting to deliver a full term baby saints we need to get expectant with our faith because my success your success saints is directly reflected of your faith this morning saints my faith is all in Yahuwah, God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My faith is all in Yahushua, Hamashiach. My faith is all in Ruach HaKadosh. I'm talking about the Father. I'm talking about the Son. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost in English. My faith is in the Lord. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. I can't help but get excited. If you abide in me, says Yahushua, and my words abide in you, you will ask me anything and it shall be, says the Lord. Look it up, saints. If you abide in him and his word abides in you, ask with faith, not doubting in your heart. Saints, faith is fearless. Faith is fearless. Perfect love casts out fear, saints. If you're afraid, go back to the drawing board. Ask the Lord to help you overcome that. That is a fearful, hateful, tormenting place to be when you're in fear. Yes. You can't say, I love the Lord. Yeah. I'm sold out to the Lord and be gripped with fear because his love is perfect and it casts out fear. Saints, I'm here to tell you today, faith is not a feeling. Faith is an action. Faith is formed by squashing all doubt. Faith is formed by squashing all unbelief. Saints, faith manifests by willing obedient mature followers of christ you can have salvation faith you can have little faith you can have weak faith you can have good faith great faith no faith lost faith whole faith you can have all kind of faith saints but if you've got a little bit of faith you can see it grow and you begin you can become mature in christ because if you just walk that faith walk, not what you see, not what you feel, but what you know to be the truth of God's word, it is written, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If your faith is in the Lord, you will walk in faith, you will talk in faith, you will fall and stumble and get back up and do it all over again the next day because saints, I'm telling you, this is life. This is hard. It's gonna get harder. It's gonna get longer. It's gonna get worse. It ain't gonna get no better, saints. People are dying and they're going to hell. And you have faith. And you're keeping it to yourself. This faith walk is for everyone, but you've got to tell them, you've got to encourage them, and you've got to compel them to come out from among them. Saints' faith is fearless. They're not going to reject you. They're going to reject the Lord in you. Let your faith rise. Squash doubt and fear, for your faith will be manifested, and the Lord will see you, and he will give you more faith. Be followers of the Lord in word. Be followers in deed. Saints, faith is final. Faith moves mountains. 
Faith maintains momentum. Faith forces fear out. Faith is the main ingredient for finalizing your earth walk. Faith gets one ready for the glory walk and faith fashions one's destiny in a dynamic panoramic view that causes the substance of things hoped for to become the things that are seen and known and felt and experienced. For without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. As I wrote this on yesterday morning, I said, where do you want to share it, Lord? How do you want to share it? Is it just for me to encourage myself? And I went on and I made that YouTube video and I said, that's not what I wanted, Lord. I don't think that's the message you want to give. It's the same thing. But, Father, I need more. I need more. He said, let me give you a postscript. Hallelujah. Thank you for postscript. Thank you for adding to my story. Thank you for making my testimony greater. Saints, factory faith fails. If you want factory faith, it ain't going to work for you. You can't just manufacture faith. We must grow our own faith from scratch. You can go to the store and you can buy a cake that's already baked. Or you can make one from scratch. But I can guarantee you your baked cake, lady, man, child, if you bake that cake and you use the right ingredients and you cook it the right amount of time and you put love in it, it's going to taste a whole lot better than that store-bought cake. Yeah. You cannot go to the store and buy faith. You've got to have faith grown from scratch. I got to scratch my way to the cross if I have to. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to back down. And I am not going to give in to the spirit of the world. The spirit of the most high God lives in me. And I'm going to speak from the rooftops. I'm going to speak from the mountaintops. And I'm not backing down. And Facebook, YouTube, and whoever else can call me extremely, extremely Ha! Conservative. I'm not conservative. I don't conserve it. I don't deserve it. Therefore, I give it away freely. Saints, this is real. This is life or death. The faith formula fails every time. There is no formula for faith. You either believe Him or you are deceiving yourself. Only living faith saves. Weak faith is better than no faith, saints, but dead faith must be resurrected by the Lord himself with work. Saints, you can't work your way to heaven, but faith is a validation, a vindication, and then a verification of one's commitment to excellence. And you will work out your own faith. You will walk out your own faith. And it's called walking and working out your salvation with fear and trembling. I'm going to tell you again what faith is. It is a validation, saints. It is a vindication, saints. And it is a verification, saints of your commitment to excellence. So let me explain that real simple like saints. You're either going to walk in excellence or you're not. When nobody's looking, are you going to do the speed limit? When nobody's looking, are you going to do the right thing? When nobody's listening, are you going to think the right thing? When nobody's videoing you, are you going to act right? When faith walks in saints, Doubt and unbelief get a divorce and they walk out on each other never to be reconciled again. And let me tell you what happens when your faith walks in and doubt and unbelief get a divorce and walk out. You don't have to worry about them reconciling again if you'll just stay with Jesus because the substance of things hoped for is faith. The evidence of things not seen is faith. Saints, I can preach all day, I can shout, I can holler, and I can lose it. But I found it. Therefore, I can't lose it because it's there. It can't be taken away. It can't be challenged. It's 
mine. And because I have faith in my Lord, in my God, in my King, I don't have to conform to this world. I am transformed by the renewing of my mind. I have faith. And if it's that big, or if like Jesus, you stretch your arms out and you die for the whole world, faith is what it takes. It is impossible to please the Lord without faith. Saints, I'll leave you with this. Faith is not a feeling. Faith is action. I say, Father, give me traction for this action. Because I got to have some four-wheel drive. I can't just have front-wheel drive. I can't just have the rear, wheel, the rear wheels in action, saints. I got to have some four-wheel drive, saints. That's you, the Father, you, the Son, you, the Holy Spirit, working with me. I got four-wheel drive, four by four, and we fixing to go through the mud, the muck, the mire. We going over the top. We going through the pass. We going to do this, saints. Get up off your couch. Get up off your bench. Get up off your chair. Do something to glorify God today if it ain't nothing but go look in the mirror and say, Wow, Father, you made something in your image, and I'm going to be something when nobody's looking, Father, because I know you're watching me. I know your holy angels surround me. I know the devils are watching me. And, Father God, I'm going to be somebody when nobody's watching me. Saints, I ask you humbly, and you may not know it, you may not think it, you may not realize it, but I know how I have humbled myself. I know how I have submitted myself, and I know what it takes. And I'm telling you, Sister Jeanette said, Leslie, Paul tried to warn them. In Acts chapter 27, Paul tried to warn them, Sister Janetta. He said, don't go that direction. Because there's going to be a wreck. There's going to be a shipwreck. Don't go that way. But they chose to not have faith in God. They chose not to have faith in the man of God. And they wrecked. And they lost the ship. And they lost the cargo. Saints, listen to the Lord. He's speaking to you. He loves you. He's given you enough faith to believe. Now receive and go grow your faith. It is not a feeling. It is an action. So stop basing your relationship with the Lord on how you feel because how you feel will keep you from your destiny. God bless you. I love you as sister with a testimony, saints with a testimony, sons with a testimony, soldiers with a testimony. I know you hear me, Texarkana. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! That's all I got to say. Sister G, will you close us in prayer, please? Father, we just thank you, Father, for your word, Father God. We pray, Father God, that it will get in your heart, in our hearts, Father God, in our minds, Father God, and they work together to know, Father God, that your word is the word. And, Father God, I've been down the wrong way, Father God, and I don't want to go back, Father God. And I know, Father God, that you warn your children. You warn your children, Father God, through the word, other people, Whatever it takes, you use that. And then, then when the door shuts like on the ark, it is over. And Father God, we, we don't want it to be over. 
We want to go on to eternity with you, Father God. We want to have everything that you said that we are going to have, Father. And we thank you, Father God, for your word and your promises and your warnings, Father God. And I just plead and apply the blood of Jesus on everybody around here, Father God. And know, Father God, that you hear their cry, but you can't do it for them. They've got to get up and do it themselves, Father God. And we give you the glory for today, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. We yes. praise you, Lord. Bless y'all. We yes. love you. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Guys, share the video. YouTube and Facebook don't yes. want that truth out there. No, they don't. But I'm blessing them because it's still a platform. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank <laughs> you.